Hello students. In this video lesson on lines and angles, we will be discussing exercise 6.1. Let us look into few of the questions from that exercise. Theorem 6.1. I want all of you to make a note of this theorem. Prove the following theorem. Write down this theorem in your notebooks. Now, what does this theorem state? If two lines intersect each other, then the vertically opposite angles formed are equal. If you remember, you have done this even in grade 7. So, according to this theorem, what would the diagram look like? So, you have to first and foremost draw two lines intersecting each other. So, take one line AB and another line CD. Let both these lines intersect each other at point O. Now, what is it that you need to prove in this? And let us see what all is given in this. So, according to this information, if two lines intersect each other, that means it is given that line AB intersects line CD at point O. And what is it that you need to prove? To prove the vertically opposite angles are congruent. So take the vertically opposite angles, that is angle AOD is vertically opposite to angle BOC. So you need to prove this angle is equal to this angle. And at the same time, angle AOC is equal to angle BOD. So these two angles are equal. Now, this is what you need to prove. So, students, you must be aware now how to write down theorems. When the statement is given, you have to draw the diagram. Diagram is a must. Without a diagram, you will not be able to prove the theorem. Then you have to write down what is given and what you need to prove. Okay. So, let us begin with the proof. Ray OD, doesn't it lie on line AB. It stands on line AB. So, if this ray OD is standing on line AB, what kind of angles do these two become? They form angles in a linear pair. So, angle AOD plus angle BOD equal to 180 degree because of linear pair axiom. Okay. Now, the clue is in the next step, you have to repeat any one of this angle. Either you take angle AOD or angle BOD. Students, this is a clue that I am giving. Okay? Because if you do not repeat any one of the angle in the next step, you will not be able to prove it. So, ray OA stands on line CD. So, these two angles form linear pair. So, what will be the next statement? Angle AOD plus angle AOC is equal to 180 because they are angles in a linear pair. Now, if you compare statement 1 and 2, I have told you to repeat any one of the angle. So, haven't I repeated angle AOD? AOD is there in the first step. AOD is also there in the second step. So, I have decided to write down these angles. You could also take BOD in the next step. Okay, so if you decide to take BOD, then what would be the statement? It would be BOD plus BOC is equal to 180. So, the first and foremost thing that you have to remember in this is take any two angles which form a linear pair. It is your choice. Then in the next step, you have to repeat any one of the angles. So, here I have repeated angle AOD. I hope this part is clear. Now, compare statement 1 and 2. What do you notice? The right hand side is equal. So, the left hand side will be equal. Right hand side is 180 degree, 180 degree. So, what happens to the left hand side? They become equal. So, we have equalized it. We have put an equal to sign. You get angle AOD plus angle BOD equal to angle AOD plus angle AOC. Now, 
the next step is cancel out AOD and AOD. Why would it cancel? Because when you shift AOD on this side, it becomes AOD minus AOD. So it cancels. So after cancellation, what do we get? We get BOD is congruent to AOC. So we have proved this vertically opposite angle BOD is congruent to angle AOC. Similarly, students, you can prove this angle AOD congruent to angle BOC. You need not prove it. You can just mention it. Similarly, we can prove angle AOD congruent angle BOC. Important theorem. Now, after this, we will look into few problems from exercise 6.1. Now, this is an example from the textbook. It's a solved example. In figure 6.9, lines PQ and RS, they intersect each other at O. And if the ratio of the angle is given as 5 is to 7, you have to find all the angles. So, this is a solved example. Now, this P, O, R and Q, O, R. The ratio of the angle is 5 is to 7. Whenever you come across any problem related to ratio, okay, one method is you use the common multiple as X. That is one way of doing it. In the next slide, you will see another method that I have done this same very problem in. Now here, you could also do it like this. Take these two angles, P, O, R and angle Q, O, R. Are they not angles in a linear pair? So write it down as totally equal to 180 degree. Now you know that the ratio of the angle is 5 is to 7. When I say 5 is to 7, it means 5 parts out of 12 and 7 parts out of 12. So what will be angle P, O, R? It is 5 upon 12 into 180 degree, that is 75 degree. ROQ will be 7 parts. Okay, it is 7 out of 12. So, it, you get the answer is 105 degree. Students, this is a solved example which is given in the textbook. Now, we will see another method of doing this. It's a very easy method. Have a look at it. It is the same example, but I have done it in a different method. And uh, I'm sure you would find this method easier. Now, they have mentioned that the ratio of these two angles is 5 is to 7. So, you take the common multiple as x. So, you get 5x and you get 7x. Now, you are aware that these two angles are angles in a linear pair. So, 5x plus 7x is 180. So, you get the value of x as 15 degree. And if the value of x is 15 degree, you just have to substitute. So, 5x will be 75 degree and 7x will be 7 into 15, that is 105 degree. And when you add these two, you get the total as 180 degree. So, angle POR, you got as 75 degree. So, what will be angle SOQ, 75 degree, because they are vertically opposite angles. Same way, angle ROQ, you got as 105 degree. So, what will be SOP? 105 degree. Now with this, we begin with the first question, exercise 6.1. There are two lines, AB, CD intersecting each other at point O. And they have mentioned that the sum of these two angles is 70 degree and BOD is 40 degree. You have to find out two things in this, angle BOE and angle COE, okay? Now, how do you start? So, how do you solve this? Now, these are the things that you need to first find out. Now, if you look at the question, they have given you BOD as 40 degree. Now, students, if this angle is 40, immediately you write down the vertically opposite angle, that is angle AOC. What will that angle AOC be? 
it will also be 40 degree right and then they have also mentioned that this angle plus this angle is 70 degree so if this angle is 40 degree what will be the measure of angle boe it will be 30 degree because 40 plus 30 will give you 70 so this is the way you go ahead with this uh, problem i have solved it have a look okay now here this is the solution to it angle bod is equal to angle aoc because they are vertically opposite angles so you get the answer as 40 degree students you have to write down even the reason that they are vertically opposite angles okay now angle aoc plus angle boe is 70 degree it is given to you now out of that aoc is already 40 so can you find out what is boe yes boe is 30 degree is that clear so now you have got angle boe as 30 and you have got angle aoc as 40 degree let us see what to do next now this is a continuation of the first question now you know which are the angles in a linear pair right all these angles form a linear pair so 40 plus 30 plus what will give you 180 degree so with that you get angle coe as 110 so once you get this as 110 okay can you find out the reflex angle coe they have asked you to find out coe we got it as 110 so what will be reflex angle coe students reflex angle coe will be 360 degree minus angle coe so you can write here 360 minus angle coe i have not written here angle coe you could mention it which is equal to 360 minus 110 degree that is 250 degree so students this is a solution to the first question exercise 6.1 you are free to do it in any method okay there are different ways of solving this question. So students, you could apply whichever method you want to solve this particular question. There are various methods of doing it. After getting this as 40, you wrote this as 40. Then you can even find out angle AOD by applying the property angle AOD plus angle DOB is 180 degree. So you will get angle AOD as 140. And if this is 140, this vertically opposite angle will also be 140. And if this entire angle COB is 140, what will be angle COE? It will be 140 minus 30, that is 110. So that's another way of calculating angle COE. Students, I want you to copy down the solution in your notebook. There are two things that you're going to write down. You will write theorem 6.1 write down the proof of that theorem and from this exercise you will write down the solution to question number one i hope it is clear now let us see what is the homework that i have given to you and it will be a similar type of question let us go through it i want you to write down this question in your notebook and you will do this one homework question okay now this is the diagram draw the diagram this question is not there in the textbook it is an extra question find the measure of the following angles angle aoc cof angle fob and angle doe i don't want you all to give me direct answers you have to show the working okay so students with this we end today's session i have done one theorem and the first question of exercise 6.1. I want you to write down the theorem and the question in your notebook and solve this homework. Okay. Until then, goodbye and take care.